whenever I'm asked about the obstacles and blessings, I say they're they're sort of the same because the obstacles were the blessings watching people come together watching people let their guard down release their apprehensions release their fears and anxieties and really come together and learn to speak each other's language um, some of the blessings I've seen is people who were monolingual in, in English learning to speak Spanish so that they can communicate with their sister or their brother that person who's monolingual in Spanish learning to speak English you know so that they can communicate with their sister and brother and really authoring the way our Anglo members historically viewed our Hispanic Latino members was a huge you know obstacle that we had and then something that we've been able to turn into a blessing that you know you weren't in ministry to you were in ministry with your brother and sister um, reauthoring the way Hispanic Latino members viewed the Anglo members right that this is our church also this isn't the Anglo members church it's my church also and giving them a sense of ownership and leadership empowering their voice um, empowering their language so that they could come to the table and have equity, right? And, and leadership and administrative council and trustees and SPPRC, just creating spaces for equity. Um, so yeah, the, for me, the blessings and the obstacles kind of go together. But um, yeah, we've been able to, you know, one, one step at a time, overcome those obstacles and turn them into blessings. It's not been easy, but we've been able to, to do it. <laughs>